Like Ruth always said, life's too short to eat anywhere else. Make a reservation online at RuthsChris.com or by calling 800-544-0808. Welcome back here to the PM Show with Larry Minetti on CRN. How lucky can one guy be? Hello, folks. How come nobody I calls me? Call me at one eight hundred three three six two 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 five. What's the number again? One eight hundred three three six two 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 five. That's it. Eight hundred three three six twenty two twenty five. Twenty two twenty five. You can email Larry at L Manetti, L the letter L, and then M A N E T T I at C R N I dot net. We've got some emails for you right now. If you're ready to answer some, get your headphones on so you can hear me. And <laughs> My earmuffs. There we go. Uh, they want to know, here's an uh, email here from Bill. He says, are you going to write another book? You could definitely write one. You have a lot of great stories. Yes, I, I have a book that is probably almost three quarters of the way finished. Wow. What's gonna, is this about? It's, the- it's about from me starting from Chicago. Driving through Texas twice to get to <laughs> L.A. to become an actor. Okay, I'll bite. Why did you drive through Texas twice? I just don't know. I went in for gas. When I pulled out, I didn't realize I went the wrong way until I smelled the stockyards. Is this really a true story? It's yes. very true. So you yeah. started going east instead of west? I, I don't even know what direction <laughs> I went. But I know when you smell 3,000 cows, you know that something's wrong. It shows you how bright he is. This is going to be great. This is good. This right. is, and what's this book going to be called? Do we have a working title for it? I really don't know what it is. My son is uh, the one that's writing it. We've got to put it all together. That's great. It's going to be a good book. It'll be as good as the first one. All right. Now we have uh, from The View, uh, Lady Gaga was uh, there talking about things. And uh, uh, do we want to talk about that? Or do we uh, do We want to talk about Amy Winehouse? Do we? The, 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 no. no. Yeah. Well, skip that well, one, Tom. But that's not nice. God bless no. her soul. They were talking about the, here's a something here, because you are a food expert, Larry. I know you like to cook. And Nancy, Manetta, you like to cook as well. I love it. They were talking about hot dogs. Let's listen to this. Now, the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine posted a billboard in Indiana warning that hot dogs could pose as big a cancer risk as smoking cigarettes. Get and out. Claim, uh-huh. <laughs> and claim a hot dog a day could send you to an early grave. How dare they during baseball season yeah. put this out? And summer, yeah. how dare they? I think that hot dogs are just jealous that cigarettes are more controversial. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, I mean, listen, little Oscar's still alive. He's 97. Is he really still alive? Yeah. Can we get him on the show, little Oscar? If if we, the get, him, mobile? If we can get him out of his it's little so- hot dog truck. <laughs> As a little kid, I went on Oscar Meyer. I went to the, with my big brother, we went to see little Oscar. Yeah. And he was very tiny. And he was in the Wiener Mobile, in the Weenie Mobile. And you could go in there and they'd watch movies in the Weenie Mobile. And then nowadays, probably some group would be upset about that. But we, my brother and I, used to hang out at the Weenie Mobile. I wouldn't go there, you know. The gay can activists you, are going to send you letters. Can, can you sing hey. the song? No. Uh, oh, I'd love to be. Well, that was Oscar after this time. Wiener. Little Oscar was there even before. That, that kind of oh. replaced yeah. the Weenie Mobile. Oh, well, well, you guys are a lot older. You know, right? all kidding aside, I think I think hot dogs are the greatest thing. In, it's an all American. What do you like? What's your favorite hot My dog? My favorite hot dog is a uh, Chicago, Chicago dog. dog. It's a Vienna hot dog. A Vienna hot and dog. And if you've never had a Vienna hot dog, man, it is honey boy. Well, what do you put on a Chicago hot dog? Because there's certain things you Relish, put on. Relish, mustard, never, uh, chopped never onions. Never ketchup. Never. No ketchup. You put a pickle Relish, a, mustard, and a, chopped onions. And a serrano big, pepper. I'm with you on that. That's yeah, my hot dog. Yeah. And it's Vienna. And a sesame bun. Better yeah. than Hebrew National? Uh, well, I like Hebrew National, too. But Nathan's? I, but who? Nathan's. Oh, Nathan. Oh, good friend Nathan Detroit. I know that song, <laughs> Guys and Dolls. No, hey, Oscar, Oscar Mayer Wiener is good, too. There's a lot of good ones. Okay. It depends Farmer on the, John? On the condiments are on there. Farmer John? The Dodger dogs Isn't are not that, that good. Is that, they're not good? Never what about one. Jimmy Dean? Does he have a, a I don't want to No, he's got pork sausage. All right, so we got Steve from Chicago. You've been cheating on me. Steve from what? Chicago is writing you an email here, and he says, can you... Can you talk to you uh, to your wearing the team ring when you and Roger appeared on Las Vegas? Code. Did Tom and Roger notice as we fans of yours out out here sure did? So did, were you wearing the ring when you and Roger? Yeah, appeared I on did La- when I did the, the show Vegas. I wore it, and uh, geez, a lot of people noticed it. So, you know, thank you. That's uh, that was neat. And wow. Selick, 
Selleck noticed it in the middle of a scene, and I saw his eyes go right towards the ring. It was like, Larry, what are you, crazy? <laughs> no. That That's good. Nice. Are you wearing it right now? No. But I'll wear it next week. We wear it next week, and we'll yeah. show it on yeah, our sure. YouTube video camera yeah. in here at crntalk.com. Can you tell some stories about our Mecca, Robin's Nest, or the Eve Anderson Estate, the Chicago area, like the Robin's Nest or the Eve Anderson Estate? Some stories about yeah, it. As many of us as trekked out there to take pictures, well, yeah. and I have a couple of well, questions. It's a, it's a gorgeous estate. It was owned by Eve Anderson. Who's it Eve was, Anderson? Eve Anderson is, uh, I think, her family, her grandparents. There's a long time Hawaiians, and uh, it has a um, a beach that is renowned. It's has a big coral reef around it, so a shark can't come and bite your little bupki. But it's and, got a uh, tidal pool. Yeah, what was the purpose pool. of the square the, concrete block in the tidal pool, he asks. Here's that's to stand up in case you're short. And, and, and what was... <laughs> I don't, I don't you know. know. What I was never... the Dowager Lady Anderson like with the cast and crew? Oh, super. Yeah, th- she was nice. And that, you know, listen, that was an important factor. That that was the exterior of uh, Higgins and, uh, and Selleck's home. It was? Oh, yeah. That's so, where they lived. At the Eve Anderson Estate. At the Eve Anderson, yeah. Yeah. supposedly, yeah. Robin's Nest. Robin's Nest, gotcha. I'm going to start watching my Magnum PIs again. It's been a few years. Kind of brush up on them. Maybe when you're not here and you're on vacation or something, instead of actually doing the show, we'll just run an old repeat of the Magnum PI and they can listen to the audio soundtrack. Oh, well, that maybe that's not such a good idea. <laughs> why don't I? Why don't I bring a script and we can all just run the lines? So, and fun. I can play the role you of could play Tom Selleck. Selleck. Yeah, that's it. I have Tomas. You could, you Tomas, could, Tomas, you could play Roger. Could be, <laughs> gonna, that would be fun. I'm gonna Where go ahead are the and, lads? I'm gonna eclectic ass act for you now. Higgins. Oh, that's good. Is that what Higgins would say? Is oh, that's good. Uh, we'll oh my God. Uh,